Having restored power to the main sector, Samus receives Adam's next order, investigating Sector 1. While investigating Sector 1, Samus discovers the body of a lab worker inside a large specimen cage. As she continues her investigation, Samus encounters a small, unfamiliar creature. It called her Mama. <coughs> Is it time for a boss fight? Uh, well, not quite. Well, welcome back to Metroid Other M. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester with the Nisco. Oh, God. You saying that just makes me realize we're here. Even so, though we've already done two episodes. That door over, uh, uh, up ahead is locked. we got to find a way to open that door. And to do so, we got to blast through this door to do it. What? Yep, this door's locked. Okay. we got to go through here to open that other door. got to go through this area. Okay. I like the long hallways pretty nice. Well, I have been reading your comments, uh, folks, and, uh, really, really appreciating, uh, some of them, uh, oh. uh, d don't worry, I'm fine. It, it may seem that I'm, that I'm quite shouty, but, uh, don't, don't worry, I, I do have a coping mechanism for this. <laughs> it's, a, it, it's all good, don't, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. <laughs> but, uh, there was one, one comment that I kind of had to just kind of prick my ears about. It's like, what? Saying that, uh, like, do they know that her, that uh, her suit is Kozo made, not Federation made? I'm like, is that why they're treating her like she's part of their property? Because they think the suit is part of, of Federation work? No, it's not. Huh. Interesting thought. So, so, so I don't know if it's Yoshio Sakamoto who did a lot to mess things up for this. Like, he was apparently the voice director. I saw that too. Uh -huh. That's probably why she sounds so flat. So stoicism in Japanese is different than it is in America. Very. Because, uh, you know, to be stoic in America, you need to be a little bit more monotonous, but... It, it, it doesn't work so well in Japanese where, like, even the tone of how she's saying it is as if it's a Japanese person doing it. Right. It doesn't work out so well. And he also didn't do the story very, very well either. So that makes me wonder, is this also... English voiced in Japan? You know, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it is. I, 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 I mean, I, I don't think that uh, it's only English. Oh boy! All right, so we gotta shoot down this and exposing that wire. This elevator is stuck, which is oh uh, well. We got, we got a guy there that if we don't deal with right away, he's gonna insta kill us. Wait, what? Yeah. There's insta kills in oh, here? Oh sure, he's he's a hazard. So we gotta jump over here and uh, okay. swerve over. What, swerve over. There we go. And then shoot Fire that. that. Fire that, and there we go! Huh. Well done. Well, I guess there's one thing that Dread took from this game, and that's insta-kill enemies, I, I guess. Well, turn, well, it turns out that was also Yoshio Sakamoto's idea. He oh, didn't for the Emmy? He didn't want to make a horror game for Metroid Dread, but he wanted to make it have fear-based gameplay. Okay, who, who was in charge of Fusion? Yoshio Sakamoto. He made a horror game. Yoshio Sakamoto is the direct is uh, one of the original designers of, of the original Metroid. He's a director of Super Metroid. He's the director of uh, Metroid Fusion, and uh, he's the director of Metroid Zero Mission, and he also directed this. What? So he's been with the Metroid series nearly every step of the way, but uh, but this is the last game he directed. Now he's been just a producer. Hmm. Hmm. So new blood came in for dread. That's good. I mean, he was he was still a general producer on that. Like he still kind of okayed mostly everything. But they brought in another another studio who had a vision, an idea with them, and it was a damn good idea, and it sold the best, the most amount of copies. So much so that they shadow dropped Metroid Prime Remastered <laughs> because they could now. Mm-hmm. And there's no way they, they can be shocked about the numbers now, right? For what? L like, for anything Metroid. Like, if they're gonna shadow drop Metroid Prime 2 Remastered, they can't just be, oh my gosh, this is doing numbers? Who would've thunk it? They have to know, see, right? See, I really think this is a this is a, a test for marketing. Oop, it, it, it missed to get that. You can, you can bomb jump a little bit in this game. It's kind of tricky, though, but... Because the timing is just a little off. I, I see what you mean, yeah. She, she's doing this this bounce, which is really throwing me off Ooh. there, but there you go. Enough. Finagle around a little bit, you can get it. Yeah. But uh, I really think that Shadow Dropping Metroid Prime Remastered is them kind of testing the waters 
on either an upcoming Metroid Prime collection or even Metroid Prime 4 to see how much sh should we invest in this. I still think Prime 2 and 3 will come as a, as a dual pack, and then 4 will come shortly after that. You know, give them the rest of the story before you jump into the newest iteration. I'd say they're also testing if they should do physical for Metroid Prime 2 and 3. Yeah! Should that be just something digital only, or something you buy as DLC oh. to the- to- if you have Metroid Prime Remastered already? Mmm, that would be cool. Like, turn it into the Metroid Prime collection by downloading the rest of them. Are, will they be port jobs? Should we go ahead and dedicate some more time to- to pretty those up, too? How much marketing should we have for Metroid Prime 4 when that comes out? A whole bunch? A little bit? None at all? Shadow Drop? Who knows? I mean, I know you and I would both be excited if 2 and 3 got Shadow Dropped. I uh, did day one purchase. Uh, yeah, absolutely, because uh, you, you got a box copy, right? I do, yes. So you're helping out with the physical aspect of it, so that's, you know... I like physical copies. I mean, obviously. I like physical games. Besides, when people hear that, oh, it sold a million copies, that's it. Well, first of all, that's A, from a Shadow Drop. And B, only counting for two months of its uh, of, of its lifetime. Seriously, a million is a big number. <laughs> Seven digits. Especially for Nintendo. Big number. Well, I think, like, any game should be excited to see that seventh digit. Oh, sure, yeah. Because that means you, you did it. You did it. You made a game that a million people enjoy. You can make a game too expensive by using the most, you know, the, the most graphics... And, and, and you pushed it out within a couple of years, and you only sold like two million copies, but it cost, you know, $128 million to make. Well, hey, then, you're not yeah. gonna make your money back. Yeah, no way. And, and that's what I find fascinating about Other M. This is yeah, a. Yeah, whoa, whoa! Wow! This is a good looking Wii game. It is! The Wii! Which was, which was you know, on par with a, with a graphics calculator. It made a game look like this. It looks pretty good! I won't say the Wii looked terrible, but, uh,. It certainly took a hit in the graphics department to make way for new, innovative gameplay sections, which I guess was also Yoshi Osakamoto's idea to have everything done with the Wii Motes. I know, I knew that was his idea. Well, I, I, I still think that anything where there's forced motion controls, that has to be a Miyamoto thing. Because he loves his gimmicks. Especially when it came to the Wii and Wii U. Well, he was, he, like, he was a producer on, like, certain games, but not, like, every game. I know. He's only executive producer. Ah, that's true. So now it's, uh, Shuntaro Fukuyama, or whatever his name is. Yeah! Yeah, Miyamoto's making movies now. <laughs> Doesn't have time for video games. Well, it's better than the last one they made. Last Metroid, or... Oh, last film. The, the, the last uh, Mario movie that they made. Absolutely. That was, a. Uh... Oh, we need, we need a speed booster to get up there. Oh! I mean, we could go fast and jump high, but Adam said no, so we gotta go a different way still kills me and it irks me it makes me angry i know it makes me angry because it's it's a terrible narrative exactly. structure it is, and it, it is, makes no sense it for samus is not a good way to take away your powers at the very least you could have like slammed her against the wall again and boom there go all the powers but then Do it. yeah oh there's ghosts there's in here. something here yeah gonna have to look carefully so I had an idea for how Samus could be aboard this ship and be without her powers and you know keep most of the story structure untouched what's that so it's after Super Metroid you know you know Metroid's just Metroid is defeated you know no trace of the, of the baby and all that and she flies on her ship and then she mysteriously falls unconscious and her ship mm -hmm. you know falls out of orbit as it's been known to do it happens it happens and she wakes up on the bottle ship Stripped of all of her stuff. Well, I mean that we we kept everything in a box, but then there was an attack, and then well, they. St Where even am I? Oh, you're aboard the bottle ship. Why here? Well, there was a distress signal, and hmm. You want to give us a hand, Samus? See, I was just thinking, uh, the so the baby Metroid gives you hyper beam at the end of Super Metroid. Yeah. Basically, wow. absorbing Mother Brain's powers and then giving it into you. Right. Leaving none for the baby Metroid to defend itself. What if that was just temporary and that's why your weapons go away? Just because the Hyper Beam was so powerful it actually sapped everything else out of you. Like, it took you back to square one. In exchange, you killed the fuck out of Mother Brain. I really don't like this, uh, stigma that Samus's Chozo power suit, made, made from, from ancient warriors, is like... A rusty bucket of bolts. 
Well, I'm not saying it's a piece of garbage. I'm saying you got... No, it is not a piece of garbage, Disco. It is a very sophisticated piece of tech. Right. I'm just highlighting that point that we get it, we get it across, that it is a highly sophisticated piece of tech. Right. But if you overclock any piece of tech, it, it could break. So these Metroid Prime's uh, thing made sense and, you know... Uh, that that she, was just system failure. She just finished Metroid 1, yeah. basically. And, and they tried to escape, and she's like, Oh, no, you fucking don't! <laughs> so battered and bruised and doing, again, that recklessness that she's known for, that yeah. she chastises herself for in this particular game, she's like, Well, hell, I'm gonna go in and bust those guys, and then she blows up, and then, oh, you didn't think, and now you hit the you, you hit your suit just right, and now you lost, you've locked all your powers. Accidentally hit the factory reset button. <laughs> way, way to go, dummy. <laughs> Metroid Prime 2, she gets attacked by Aang, so that's a little different. That actually makes sense. That's, a you know, an alien parasite. Metroid Dread, she gets her ass absolutely <laughs> yeah, wrecked. She gets knocked the fuck out. Yeah, <laughs> so so that, that that's okay, too. And Metroid Fusion is just the the X taking over and just kind of steals everything, you, right? you You get infected by a space parasite that could doom the world that's been allowed to, to freely reproduce yeah. because you destroyed their one and only predator. Oops. 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 What and, happened? and additionally, oops. Yeah, what happens in... Uh, you feel free to not answer this, but uh, what happens in Prime 3? Or do you keep all your stuff? They just give you new stuff. I... If, if you don't want to say it, please, please don't spoil don't it. Don't remember. Uh, oh, okay. That would be a surprise to both of us. What's this? It's a thing. Ooh, I like It's things. a new power-up. I don't know what it is, though. <laughs> what could it be? I, I guess I'll just pick it up and absorb the energy. This is the diffusion beam! Wait, really? The diffusion beam? So now whenever you charge and oh. uh, fire upon enemies, it now does like this huge amount of splash damage. Ooh, I like that. Let's try it out. Yeah! Oh, oh, that's gorgeous. So that feels good. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's good. That, that feels pretty good. <laughs> that's so cool! I, I can go ahead and, uh, with, with no guilt, no shame, chalk that up into the positives of this game. Oh, that's... The diffusion beam. Wow! Feels pretty damn good to use. <laughs> See, that's what we need in here, just, just to counteract a lot of the stupid, is just give us cool toys to play with. So that's- I, I'm gonna say that's Team Ninja doing a good. Team Ninja yeah. did a good. They, they- they- they did whatever they could. Good job, Team Ninja. Thumbs up to them. <laughs> that was a little that's overkill. <laughs> oh, but it's- yeah, but it's just- it's just- it's just lovely, though. It just got de-atomized. Yeah. There it goes. Alright, door's unlocked, finally. Oh my god, I forgot that was the objective. <laughs> we can now officially make some progress. <laughs> All right! All right, let's let's go on back. Go ahead and, yeah, quick recharge real quick. Recharge the old batteries. So since you've started playing through this, and I know you're getting episodes in the background, mm -hmm. is, uh, is it getting easier? Yeah, oh, like, easier to play? Because um, wow. you're still playing on a D-pad, which is just... Ew. We're also playing a game by the Ninja Gaiden devs, which has not been known to let the player relax. Just constant movement. In fact, matter of fact, it's gotten a bit worse. Because I always hate room games. Oh, what? where you go from room to room. You walk into a room, you fight some enemies. Then you, you find you, another room. You clear enemies, the door unlocks, you go into another room, you fight more enemies, the... the, the the door unlocks, you go in more, and then there's a gimmick to fighting the enemies in this room, you kill them, and uh, and because there's no power-ups, because there's no pick- but by that I mean pickups. I've been saying power-ups this whole time. Like, when, when I kill an enemy, there's no health pickups, there's no missile pickups. Mm -hmm. So I have to go from room- from navigation room to navigation room with the health that I have. I see, I see. And it changes the gameplay of, of what a Metroid should feel like. Because now I don't want- I don't want to explore. Exploring's dangerous. I just yeah. want to get to the next navigation room. Yeah, I see what you mean. I see. I don't want to kill enemies, because what's the point? They're not going to give me anything. Excuse me, pardon me. Can I just make my, make my way through and don't hurt me too? Don't hurt me too bad. So yeah, it's, that's it's that's not that that's a negative. I give it. It's changing how Metroid's played. It's turning it into a little bit of a game room because now I walk into into specific rooms where I'm I'm supposed to have these encounters. And then it becomes a bit like a room game. You also have an enemy that seems to like to hide. Oh, it loves to hide. It's a hiding boy. Yep. 
And it seems to just kind of turn them. Taking pot shots at you, yeah. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Now die like a good boy. <laughs> hey, listen. Die! Oh, well. Oh, that ain't good. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. See, I thought I could, like, roll into a morph ball and, like, use a bomb, whatever. If, there you know, we go. You know, if, if I were playing Metroid, it would do that. <laughs> oh, come on. What? It Yeah, it, it didn't, uh, didn't give me enough time. Oh. So you have to, like, be right up on it, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. Huh. Okay, I see what you mean. So now we have this thing called concentration. I don't know if I shut it off yet. Yeah, it's... Get your health back for free. Yeah. Or at least one E-tank back for free. But I can only use it when I get down to 30 or less. Hmm. And it takes some time, too. Ta -doom. So now I'm at a point where, you know, I have, like, one E-tank left and I'm down to 41 HP. I'm like, oh, hit me so I can get my health back later. Eh, it just seems counter. Or I can run back to a navigation Precisely, room. Precisely, yeah. And I have a feeling that's exactly why they put a navigation room right next to it, because that was kind of tough. Especially for a first but enemy. But sometimes, they lock doors that lead to navigation rooms because they want you to go forward. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. They get they, they send you down points of no return, so you have to basically get through on the little health you have. The, oh. Then they drop more enemies your way. <laughs> It's not about exploration, it's an action game! It's a Ninja Gaiden game, you see? That thing has two mouths. That thing has two mouths. I wonder what it poops out of, I can't tell. It's clipping through everything, too. I can't tell if it's looking at me or not. <laughs> Don't stare. Don't stare. Don't stare until Mega Maw comes up. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm glad to know that uh, they're trying to breed Maw Wiles in this room. Look at those big jagged teeth. All right, missile works best. Just, 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 just die. Thank well, at you. At least they're putting more reliance on using missiles, I guess. Yeah, if only they were easy to use. Still baffles me that this came out after Corruption. Mm-hmm. Japanese made. Sakamoto, this was his baby. Like I said, this is the last game he directed before he was uh, sent to be a producer on everything, including Dread. Apparently, the way Mercury Steam did uh, Metroid Dread was the way he wanted it to be done. Oh, With good. Yeah, they did a good job. That's part of the reason why they canceled Dread all those times, all those years, was because it, it, the, the technology just wasn't there yet. Wasn't and, it set to be a Game Boy Advance game? It, and it was set to be a DS game too. Okay, but can't it, it cancel just, twice. But <laughs> it just didn't plan out. It just didn't pan out. Hmm. And I think I know why, because Metroid Dread has a lot of like black. A lot of darkness. Yeah, it wouldn't look good and, pixelated. And the DS doesn't do shading too well. It's also very small screen. Same with uh, GBA. That's probably why it was canceled then, too. So, yeah, totally understand. And glad we got it eventually. And it's the best one ever, so hey. It's pretty good. And so we're stuck playing this for now. Well, we already did Dread. Kind of blew the load on that one. <laughs> but that's because you were really excited for Dread. Well, now I'm excited for Prime 4 whenever it comes out, whenever, if they decide to make it. It's it's in the oven. Let them cook. I will I will let them cook, because <laughs> look what happens when you let game developers cook. Sometimes you get uh, dubious food like this, but hey, you know... <laughs> what on earth is this? No, no, it's delicious. You, you can add some extra salt to it. Oh no, I'm adding salt! How many buckets of salt you think we need? To cover up the flavor of this? Uh, how's a full salt mine? That sounds pretty good. I mean, turn our heart into a paperweight, but, you know, it's still good. Alright, so that's the end of the room. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. There's a bit where the hologram is kind of... Yeah, I noticed that. Hmm. Kind of, like, peeking. Hey, looky there! Okay, that is actually a neat effect. Oh, that's cool! Alright. So, um... Huh. Now we're getting down to, to some sort of weird hive activity uh, here. So there's webs everywhere and... Giant spider, huh? Well, I don't know about giant spider, but... Something nasty's down here. Boss time! And at least Samus isn't like, By the... But I can tell by the webs <laughs> that there was something monstrous so, down something here. Something monstrous, oh no. 
Okay. So stoicism in America would be like, there's something down here. Like, if they just if they just rehired Jennifer Hale, she could do a great stoic voice. Matter of fact, I think she did the opening uh, text crawl for Metroid Prime in the EU version that you can hear on the Metro on Metroid Prime Remastered. And at least I think. Yeah, that sounds right. Oh my god, that armadillo is so many types of dead. I like these death moves. That's certainly something Samus would do. That's in character. Ooh, the experimental floor. I feel it's like Samus. I didn't. I didn't authorize lethal moves. We're trying to, to to save the research done here, okay? I didn't authorize sick moves. Stop making my other Marines look bad. You're too radical for this mission, <laughs> Samus. <laughs> Stop being so cool. Basically, what Adam's saying. I'm so pissed that we don't have this clash between Samus and Adam. But have them like, have like them spar like by the end of this. Like when I made this uh, this idea that you know Samus uh, is like yeah sure Adam I'll go ahead and uh, not use anything because I I respect you you're my you're my uh, my PO and my father figure I will I will do this mission to the letter and no nope, no missiles no nothing all this but then later on she's going to put herself in active danger for no other reason than appeasing Adam. Hmm. So what if she were to just kind of well you know I really need to use this so I go ahead and turn it on and she and uh, she. Like turns on the ice beam early or whatever, and uh, Adam's like, "Oh, S Samus, that's not that's not right. I didn't I didn't approve of that." It's like, "Well, Adam, I I had to. I was gonna die." Like, well, don't br don't break protocol again. Well, if I have to break protocol to survive, I'm gonna have to make the call, Adam. That's not what this is about, Samus. And they start to butt heads, and then you learn why she left in the first place. And then she goes, "Huh? Maybe I wasn't so young and dumb to begin with." Self-realization. Okay. First person. All right. So. This is another section where they want me to look at something. Ooh, could it be this gigantic hive? That's... Oh, apparently not. That's... Uh, th that seems like of, of, of grave concern. Yeah. But not what we're looking for. But the game doesn't want me to look at that. Maybe, mm -hmm. it's, maybe it's these pods up here. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh... So I spent a good five to ten minutes trying to figure no. out what the hell they want me to no, look at. No, dude. I don't know what they want me to look at, dude. Oh, no. So, be right back. I gotta check the long play I'm using to see what he fucking looked at. What on earth does the game want me to look at? That's so important. That's not the gigantic hive that's above me. Some kind of indication. Some kind of arrow. Maybe some kind of, hmm, I wonder what this is thing is yeah you don't even have to have her say it just no indication none at all so oh that's obnoxious okay you win this hang round. on a sec oh what was that oh oh these grubs that these grubs this this one particular grub what what is this place huh i looked around the whole room niskel the whole room! Oh. And the only thing that seemed important were the grubs on the floor that I figured that maybe they could do in a cutscene not to have me look at it manually! I mean, come on! War wasps. Ew. Uh, ew, no. ew, ew. Are, well, are they war wasps? Or are they just evil bugs? They... Oh my lord! They, yeah. They immediately attack? Mm hmm Was there any way to dodge that? There probably would have been. I had to be prepared for it, but uh, again, they want me to. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's like a quick time event, but they don't tell me what to press. Exactly, you come right out of a cutscene. It's like, oh, you didn't know. You didn't know the cutscene was ending. This, well, this does, loser. however, uh, show off the diffusion beam quite well. That is fantastic. I was. This is this is a great first boss to show off the power of the diffusion beam and how to use it properly. Oh, and you can actually rip their wings off too. Or, I, I mean, they lose their wings and then, uh... So after a time, these oh. things show up and they start, uh, blasting things at you. you okay, gotta okay. Get, get in a good enough position. Yeah, I'd probably shoot them with a fire missile. A, fire a missile and basically cut off all five of those. Gotcha! And there we go. And that, that's a boss fight. That's a boss fight, that's yeah. good. Okay. Helps me use the missile so I get used to the first person that I have to, oh I have to use. Oh my god. Yep. Uh-huh, yeah. Ooh! Yeah, it's stinky. D dislike. First person is actually where Samus's helmet is? Are you joking? That was all Sakamoto's idea. Ow. It was all him. He he wanted to have this, you know, have have the Wii mode sideways and and point at the screen to use it. They wanted to use the nunchuck, but Sakamoto said no. Okay, so I I enjoyed the Wii when I had it. There, I, there's still I a have, lot of games I hold dear. I have not been as fond on the Wii as I have like the GameCube or even the 64 in certain cases. But 
the, the, the gimmicks they wear on my patience these days. Like, now, if they actually help the game, like, for example, Mario Galaxy's extra jump... That's just, that's just, that's just natural. Yeah, that's good shit. I mean, it hurts but, your wrist after a while, but... But having to use it to go through the slingshot star is not so much. It's just... I, I mean, it, no more heroes. It was done as a joke. <laughs> that was the only reason you had to shake the Wiimote, was because of a dumb joke. Well, they utilize the Wiimote to the utmost. Like, they, they use it to take calls, a little speaker against oh, the yeah. air, you know? So many different ways to access the Wiimote done just for extra fluff or just for a big joke. This is a cool moment, though. you got to break open the hive yeah. and kill the... I'm liking this. Kill the emperor inside. Yeah. My empire. No! no! Oh, and just, just unload this. Unload. Oh, I love it. Yes! Now do the rest of them just fall over dead? Our queen, no! No! Oh, yeah. The... Huh? Huh. Now let's have a cutscene. I could tell by the way they were buzzing and had stingers that they were bees. Dangerous bees. Let's have a monologue about this creature again. Some creatures use the powers of others to capture their prey. Watching this disgusting beast, I felt as though it was feeding off my power as well. What? At the same sure. time, a thought crossed my mind. What if I absorbed its power by eating it? I heard earlier. Could this creature have been the source? Stoic is one thing, but she's so wooden! Well, no, the fact that she's monologuing to no one, Samus, she might be an insane person. Your test area in your current sector. There should be some important information about this facility in that exam center. The other members are en route. Quickly, go meet them there. Uh, well, okay. Cool. All right, there we go. Glad we had that moment. So now we gotta go all the way over there. And that was a point of no return. Fantastic. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Well, let's uh, make our way at least. Yep. That sounds good. No more old big bad enemies. And there's another collectible in here. Whee! Ah, damn. See, these are actually like decent hiding spots. <laughs> you had you saw that, which means oh, I could probably get to that. And then there was one like right next to it. So we'll talk about collectibles uh, uh, collectibles later. There's a lot that we're going to get way, 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 way late game. Though. Is it one of those where, hey, you have all your powers now, go get everything? Uh, we'll, 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 we'll get there. Okay. You know, I could stop here, I suppose, but, well. Eh. Let's keep going. Eh. Let's keep going. Why it's not? It's fine. Why not? I'm, I'm having a good time, aren't you? No, I'm having a great time. No, uh, you don't need to lie. I'm not that's playing. Okay. I'm, just... I'm not playing. Yeah, well. <laughs> no, that's fine. You're you're more the Metroid guy. This, this is a brand new, a brand new avenue I'm coming into. I don't know a lot about Metroid, but I'm learning every single time. All right, so for this, I'm gonna lower the bridge. All right. Very nice. Take a little jump down. Hmm. So there is a, uh... There is a missile expansion over there, but how do you get over there? Hmm. Quite the mystery, isn't it? It is, it is. I wish to solve this mystery before moving on. There you go. It, oh. Really? Yep. Oh, okay. Well, that easy. That wasn't too bad. I don't like the fact that the missiles are in boxes. <laughs> you still have to I, blow really, them up. I really hate that. Yeah, don't you know? In order to get a missile to its full potential, you need to blow something up next to the explosive. It's just something that's wrong. It just feels wrong. Not right. Incorrect. Not of a Metroid game. You know that feeling when you haven't showered for a day or so and you just, like, feel yourself being disgusting? Sheen of grease and grime over you. Uh, that's what those cases kind of remind me of. Yeah. And just the other small decisions that I'm what seeing this game that... reminds me of, so... These yeah. things are invincible and then they uh, evolve into something way more powerful. Oh. oh. They evolve into those things. That's cool. Hello. <laughs> so that's kind of neat, I guess. Evolving animals. It's like we're fighting the X again. Huh. Water! Yep, it's water time. Oh my gosh, she's actually sprinting in water. 
You know, she has her gravity suit with her, but... Well, Wait, really? Yeah. Oh. Just doesn't want to use suit, it. Gravity suit's the thing that we're going to use eventually, but, you know... Just doesn't want to use it. Doesn't, doesn't want to use it. Or can't. So, it, it was okay in Fusion, because we were under the thumb of the Federation in that game, too. Basically running a, a mission for the Federation, because we kind of owe them our lives at the moment. Oh, that, oh, that's neat! Wait, did you just do a cluster bomb? She did the Super Metroid thing, yes. Oh! So that's cool. When did they tell you you could do that? It's a secret thing. Just like in uh, Super Metroid. Samus, so, I didn't authorize that. Well, there's that. Stop using cluster bombs. Yeah, but uh, being able to run on the water, that, that, that isn't authorized. But in Fusion, see, uh, they had your powers on standby and ready and uh, synced up to your suit. Because oh. you're basically, your whole DNA has been changed because you're now part Metroid and all that. So that you had to download your parts, essentially. And while you, you were also taking them back from the X that infected parts of your suit. You know, I was thinking, is the reason they really kind of put your powers on standby was because you had an unknown parasite on your person and didn't know what would happen if they actually gave your weapons back? They're also secretly working on Metroid, so they're not being 100% no, no, with you at the same true. time, you know. That's true. We need a speed booster for that. Speed underwater. And and what I hate is that I can't just organically go find my speed booster in like sequence and sequence break or whatever. Yeah. Like I, I I gotta wait for Daddy to say okay. Yeah, I was just thinking that there's probably no sequence breaks in this because it's very linear. Not not very much. Okay, so there are some sequence breaks. I, I don't know about the speedrunning game. I, I, I figured this game would be too obnoxious to speedrun. But I've been wrong before. You can't skip cutscenes either, can you? Uh, dumb, maybe? I, I haven't tried because, you know, you know, for for the people and all. For the people. Yeah, I also wanted to see the cutscenes in here, which is why I'm joining you along for this amazing ride. Beauty J and Niskel's amazing monotone ride. It's, it's, it's... it's... Look, look how much fun we're having. Look at it. Look how fast we're going. Sa Adam, can I use my gravity suit yet? No, Samus. Why not? <laughs> because I haven't authorized it. Why? Because it's not part of the mission. Well, it's part of my mission. Seriously, dude. All that for a missile tank? Or, oh, no, a door. That's a fun thing that other M likes to do. Transitions. Nope. You grab onto a thing and it goes across a rail, and there's enemies along that rail. You can either take them, either you take them out uh, when you, you know, before you get there, or you do it during. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to to grab onto the rail, mm. go into first person, yeah. and take care of those enemies right there. Okay. But in some cases, you can take them out beforehand and just uh, just a uh, boring ride to the to the end. Hmm. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like this room. Either. This is a uh, shifting water levels room. Oh. I'm trying to figure out the scientific purpose for all of this. Oh. So, raise the water levels there so I can get to that platform over there. Okay. That makes sense. Cool. And you lower it again, because I, I, I haven't authorized the gravity suit yet. Uh, let's see. What, what, what explanation could we come up with as to why this exists? Maybe there's a special species of frog that likes it when the water is up. Maybe it's for cleaning purposes. Oh yeah, just have add, a room full of water. Like add more water is like you know it's 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 for filtration. I could see that. Maybe it's just uh you know when you raise the water that's adult swim time. You know you gotta lower the water for the kids and then you raise it fifty feet for the adults. Could be for population control as well. Like you know in pool <laughs> one we're gonna be adding iodine. In pool two we're gonna be adding just salt water. So go. we separate we uh you know. Raise the waters, add the population, then uh, lower the waters and separate them. But uh, th that's why I say for filtration, because of the whole uh, shifting and lowering waters that go on a cycle. Hmm. And some lovely exploding organisms got into here. Part of the challenge of this room is figuring out where the switches are that, to fire them as well. Yeah, that was underneath like, an entire... That, like, well, there's that oh. one. Oh. Yeah, I saw that you had to, uh... So now it's going to be going up and down on a loop, which is kind of ridiculous to me. <laughs> I'm supposed to do that to, to wall jump like that. Uh, okay, okay. So there you go, that's that round. Uh-huh. 
Now we're in the rainy boss room. Okay, this is very pretty. That, that's a good rain effect. Start up one of these towers. I can't remember which one exactly. Uh... But essentially, we gotta find the hologram computer, turn it off, and then there's gonna be a boss. Ooh! Has having to do with that rail there. I like bosses. Well, it's a room game, so it's just another. Uh, it's a big old room. Just another encounter. Yeah. That actually sounds like a badass Samus line. It's just another encounter. It's just another encounter because it's just been encounters. There's been no exploration. It's been mostly linear all the way through. You found some things to, that could be considered exploration. You it's found just, some missile tanks. It's finding collectibles, but the game also highlights them for me. Well, that's, yeah. It makes a it makes a big booping sound on my mini map to make sure I don't I don't forget it. There will be a time we can come back after the game. Oh really? Yes. For there is a post game secret. No. There is when the credits roll, and then there's what comes after. Oh my God! Really? Yep. There is a post game to this. You sound so excited. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Basically, all right. Now you can you can explore and do for the and basically play like a Metroid game, but it's got like bed sores or something, so it's not really running too good today. <laughs> ow! 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 There we go. You turned off the hologram to Jurassic Park. That thing's alive. Uh, oh, don't like that. Don't like the look of that thing. Nope. So, so there are three things that can kill this thing easily. Okay. Uh, missiles. Okay. Uh, missiles. And, um, uh, missiles. Oh. Well, cool. I, I, I see a pattern here. It is, it, it is, a uh, highly susceptible to missiles. If I hit him with enough missiles, he will turn over. A giant tree. A, a tree dinosaur. A gigantic walking tree that yeah. throws stuff at me. It's good to keep one of these things in your way. Get stick bugs, Samus. Ha! <laughs> yup. I, I noticed it's uh, shooting, uh, what are they called? ICBMs? No. Intercontinental. Those are not intercontinental ballistic missiles. <laughs> I mean, they're certainly hurting like one. They're taking like 30 health per. The cruise missiles, obviously. They do hurt a lot, yes. I'm not doing so good. Ooh, there we go. There we go. I would love to have a navigation room here very soon. He's not dead yet. I know it looked like a death animation, but he's uh, not dead yet. And now he's playing peekaboo with you. Yeah, he is. Well, uh, I, got, I got time. I'm not afraid. I got missiles. I got I, I got a hope and a prayer and, and the skill to, to compete. Skill to pay the bills. I got the will and the skill to pay the bills. Time to chill. Hit them all with oh my the God. bills. <laughs> I just see a bunch of... A bunch of ballistics yeah, coming right towards you. Oh no. Oh this, no. At this distance, I probably could just do it all in first person, because I can just use yeah. my regular blaster to take out those Boom. purple things, oh, and then hit him with a Boom. couple of missiles when he... Yeah. I love this how he's, like, trying to do the wave every su every single time you hit him with a missile. It's just like... Everybody say, hey! Hey! Good, good. Right, so it was just a waste of time. Hey! Oh. I kind of liked in Prime being able to scan my enemy and uh, figure out what hurt him and also getting his health bar afterwards. That's handy. Hey, look. Hey! Well, there we go. That was it? Yep, nothing too bad. Okay. All right, we're on our way to a navigation room, so let's get up there. Okay. I mean, this, uh, this has been an exhausting one. <laughs> I mean, this is at least kind of interesting, I guess. Hmm. Where do we go again? Where'd that place open up to? I thought there was a place like... Right, at, like, hmm. right to your to your left? I like to in Metroid Prime when I could kind of look around in first person and kind of get my bearings on everything. Take a left now, y'all! I wish that the map was positioned in a place that made sense instead of figuring out where, which direction is which because it keeps shifting on me. One hop this time. Uh. Imagine that. A save room right next to a boss room. Well, I think we're... I think that's enough for one day. I think that's all you can stand? I think that's all That's all for one day. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Next time on Metroid Other M, we're going to be finishing up this sector and moving on to another one. I like the roundness. <laughs> I always love the, the post-save shenanigans. Hey, another cluster bomb. Nice. Fun stuff.
And maybe we'll find some more next time. See you then.